You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. People accumulate many things throughout the years, and with this comes the chaos of disorganization. As everyone settles into 2023, there are some eager to begin the process of decluttering. Mountaintop spoke with Jeannie Badgett to discuss tips on how to begin the decluttering process. To start to declutter, I think the first thing to really consider is why you want to declutter and what decluttering is. And I would say decluttering is removing any physical or mental barriers to being able to access your things and being able to function. A big hurdle to overcome when decluttering is procrastination. Getting motivated is the first big step to cleaning up and organizing your surroundings. Once motivated, you can begin to declutter by gathering like things, assessing areas to see what stands out, and getting rid of anything unneeded. Within Cooperative Extension, we do have a program called Time Well Spent, which focuses on being productive and includes a little bit about decluttering. And that's really what I think when you have decluttered things, it allows you to be more productive because you can find everything or know where to look for things and just be more productive in general. Everyone has clutter and everyone wants to start the year off right. Getting rid of clutter can brighten your mood and free up space for new activities. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.